Hello, this is Thirst Strategy. This is for the Nitty. And we're gonna be bringing you a tutorial today of how to cannon rush in PvP. And just a reminder, both all these games are in the Master League. Yeah. These are all Master's League games just to show that this um cheese can be very effective in um a lot of cases. Especially on Antigua and uh Metalopolis it's most effective. It can also be used on Zelnaga. But on some maps, such as Tall Dream, it's maybe a little tricky finding your enemy, which is why later in this video we'll be showing you how to scout your opponent efficiently. So, we start off standard 9 pylon. The wall off is very crucial in this video, because some people try to base race here and you want to be able to wall in with a cannon, in the case it does that happen. So, keep making probes. This, you start off standard, but instead of putting down a gateway at 12 supply, you put down a forge. So, so far, now you can use one chrono, you, all your chrono boost go on to Nexus, because there's no warp gate or zealots to chrono boost. So at 12, we're going to want to put down a forge, and this on this map, you send out three probes at once to scout, to make sure you find them in time. So we're going to put down a forge right now. And we send three probes to scout each of the three locations. Another option is you can, s after your nine pylon, you can send that probe to scout here and here. And after your twelve forge, you can scout here with the other probe. And you, uh, regardless for this build, you want to have multiple probes in case one dies. Also, Chrono boost out two more probes until you have fourteen. And once you're at fourteen, you can stop probe production because you're going to be saving up. Now, if he sends, a, if you see him sending a zealot or his probes to a base, you put one cannon right here, and it completes the wall, which prevents many counterattacks. So I know he's not here, but and I know that he's here now. So for this map, there's a wall that you do with three pylons right here, as you will see me do now. I mess this wall up a little bit because I want to see if he pulls probe. Now the correct position is for this probe to be right here. So if he does pull probes, I can wall off in time. Like, my wall off is a little late because, like this pylon right here, I fully walled off but he has a probe in. Luckily he's trying to break this pylon instead of killing my probe because he knows he can't kill my probe in time. So this wasn't too bad for me, but if he got more probes then the can rush would have been unsuccessful. Now, what I should have done is keep one probe back and put one probe in. After this cannon is done mostly, you want to start cannoning his high ground. Now unfortunately I lose one probe because I don't mineral walk fast enough. I try to wall this off a little bit, but then he gets a surround on me and he kills my probe. Now this is why you pull multiple probes, because like this probe is stuck. So right now as you can see I'm doing economic damage and I'm pulling another probe since I need to. Um, this pylon gives me vision, which is important. It's also important to cancel any cannons like this one, which was being attacked earlier. So, because why you have not, you don't have that song of an economy. So, you want to transition. See, I don't know if this is going to be successful. So, I'm starting to build probes again, and I'm putting down this gateway to fully wall off and to start attacking. Because I know I did some economic damage already. And I know that... If he does manage to hold us off, I need a way to transition without... Because he already has a cyber up, so his war gate is going to be really ahead of mine. We're just having to do as much damage as possible before we even want to think about catching up to the enemy. So by taking out this gateway, that's really important because if we look at everyone's vision, he doesn't have any other gateways. So even if he has a cyber up, his unit production will be delayed. So even if I were to back off right now, he'd only have this one stock out. And otherwise, we'd be pretty much even. So if you go back to my vision, he's about to leave the game. Because these cannons are about to finish and he can't do anything. If you look at the unit skill tab, I already killed 6 workers. And he only killed 3. And by resources, he should be um, economically behind. The unit's lost tab. He's a little bit economically behind. And also... I have these cannons which will delay his expansion. So, by harvesters, I'm barely ahead, and he has gas, but 
as we saw, we are pretty even about now. Like if these cans then go up, I wouldn't be behind. And he wouldn't be ahead at all of me. Because he delayed his, his he's in the end research in one game. So now I'm going to jump into our next game. Also on Antigua. Because Antigua is one of the most popular. The reason why Antigua is really good for cannon rushing besides that wall off is because usually your enemy scouts you late. On Melopolis, it can be sometimes hard if they 9 pylon scout, and because if, if they scout this early enough, they can throw a forge enough cannon up and you can't do anything. <clears throat> now I'm gonna fast forward the beginning a little bit, because the build is basically the same. Now, in this game, <clears throat> he tries to stop my cannon rush a little bit differently which you also have to be used to. There are multiple ways to delay it or stop it. One is last game, Chrono Boosting Stalkers was his preferred choice. And if he can get out one, especially once he gets out two Stalkers, it can be very difficult to get any cannons up at all. So 12 Forge. Now I'm going to Chrono Boost two more probes out, as usual. I'm sending three probes to Scout. If you can, try not to show him your probe. Like for example, Right here, if I see this and I don't want to show my probe any further. And these probes I can send back now, as you can see I am doing here. You want to save up at least like 250 minerals so you can wall off in time. If you place one pile on and you only have 100 minerals and he pulls probes, it's going to be really hard for you. So now I should be starting to wall off. This game I play, you can do this too. You can play it safer and if you need, you can cancel these pile on if he doesn't pull probes. I can cancel at least this one pylon, for example, if he still doesn't pull probes, because then I have an extra probe that can do damage. If you don't feel like your APM is high enough or you feel it's too difficult, you can just let these pylons finish like I did, because there's no. I have two more probes pulled already, and I don't know exactly how he's countering it. For example, if he has a Zolid out, like he does, it could have been dangerous. So he, what he did was a tree pylon wall to delay my cannons going up. So I put up this cannon because there's really nothing else I didn't spend resources on. I know he's not going to be streaming any zealots to my base. So now this cannon is out of range of this pylon, but this cannon will be um, in range. I can see he's building a cannon. So I know I definitely have to get in there quickly because if these two cannons finish, it's going to be really tough for my probes to get in. I can also, one thing I didn't do here is I should have attacked this pylon with my probe too. Luckily, I unpowered his cannon by killing that, um, one pylon, and now my two probes can get in. If that does happen where he does have an active cannon up, you should want to pull in two probes at a time so his cannon can't just stand them. And now he loved the game because he really has, if you look at his base, he can't, like, I don't think a cannon will fit here, and even if it does, I have two going up, and he still doesn't have a single one. So even if I don't snipe his nexus, these cans are gonna then kill this gateway and the ninety minerals. So I'm gonna, and I'm always just in case I'm always teching up behind this, just in case he doesn't leave the game after transition. So in our last replay, we're gonna look at cannon rush on Metalopolis, which can be a lot more rewarding because the cannons are even close to the mineral line but it's also a lot riskier if he scouts it early so I'm gonna go into my vision again and the build is still the same the only difference here is we're only gonna send two probes out because there's only two locations he can spawn since at Melopolis like you know he can't spawn close positions going nine pylon and you could we could just send this probe right now and scout both positions but I prefer to just send two probes at a time because I need to send two probes anyway in case I do a full wall. So I'm sending one a little earlier to to scout the cross position, and I'm sending one right at, after I build my uh, forge. Now, as you can see, I'm gonna he's gonna scout this pretty early, <clears throat> which can be really risky. Like. He scouted it early, so when my probe is going to be here, he's going to pull probes to kill it. 
and this will make it very difficult. Try not to lose any probes. At the very least, I'm making him waste mining time by pulling five probes. Or four probes, sorry. Um, but now, this is the advantage of pulling a second probe. Now that I have my full wall off, even, I don't know, I think I lose this probe. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure this probe dies, but the advantage of doing this is now I was able to get these three pylons up. And as you can see here, he's pulling probes to kill the swall. So, I'm putting a cannon. And this cannon can barely reach a mineral patch, which is very effective. You can get high ground. I'm obviously pulling another probe. And I'm putting up a defensive cannon just in case. Because he, I know he pulls probes and he can easily just get a zealot out and run to my base like he does. He could easily just try to run this to my base, so I'm just being safe. So now, you just want to keep cannoning. I decide to build two cannons instead of a pylon. There's, on Melopolis, these can reach the, all, almost all of the mineral line, which is a really good thing on this map. I'm building another pylon in case he kills this one. And as you can see, I think this cannon does get dropped because the zealot did do that much damage. And now, I'm in a little bit of trouble. I'm trying to hide this probe to keep it alive. But now these two cans are going to go up and there's really nothing he can do. Because he is just, he doesn't even have any um minerals to chrono boost out of stock right now. And he's just opting for Zods because now that cans are up, he can't really snap them with one stalker. And that's how you can in our so The two maps it's most effective on in the current ladder pool are Melopolis and Antigua. Melopolis, as we can see, is much more rewarding if you can get it up, but also they scout you much faster on Melopolis. So, um, if you really want to, you can try Camelot and Zelnaga, but it's a little bit harder.